had planned to do this video as a sit down with a desk and a new chair that I bought, you know, and make it all professional. But let's be honest, I'm not the most professional of channels. I like to do my videos sort of like this, with a little bit of natural light coming in, with me doggy in the background. My feel stop licking. You know how we're all. So anyway, let's just mute the TV, like so, and let's crack on with the video. For those of you that have seen my latest vlog from Alton Towers, it was from the Scarefest first weekend. Myself and Big Perm TV went on the Sunday and we had a fantastic day. It was absolutely brilliant. I got to meet his lovely fiance, Lena. Hello, Lena, if you're watching this. Uh, obviously, I know Christopher's have been with him many times, but I got to meet the lovely Oliver as well. The little baby, the new newborn baby. Newborn baby, he's one now, I think. But anyway, and yeah, we just had the best day. It was really, really good. Um, it was really quiet as well. All the rides, you know, were on green all day. So I think it was because the kids were in school on the Monday and it was the opening weekend, so it wasn't too bad. But anyway, I've since been again this weekend gone and it was a very different story, very different. 140 minute wait for the Wicker Man. God. You don't even get that for murder. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, this video is going to be about my thoughts about each of the scare mazes. The welcoming, Project 42, subspecies, and the Altonville Mine Tours. Start off from the start and tell you in order I'd done them and then what I thought of each one. Now I had to do them alone because Big Perm, he's not, he's not a Scare Maze fan. And to be fair, I don't know if I am. Well, I didn't know if I was. So, but I knew I wanted to experience them because I've heard such good things. So the first maze I experienced was the new one, Project 42. And it was really, really good. I was very nervous going in. The basic storyline is that there's been an infection uh, spread on Earth. I won't, you know, I don't know if this is a spoiler really, so I'll give you rough outlines and I won't give you too much details of what happens inside the mazes. There's been an outbreak of some sort of disease, is what I get from the storyline. You go in, you've been briefed by your, I don't know, your case manager, <laughs> I don't know what you call them, um, your boss, let's call them your boss. You've been briefed by your boss to go in and find one of your oppos one of your guys that have fallen within the maze and you've got to rescue him and get him out obviously there are things in there to stop you and the maze starts off quite slow quite easy breaks you in there's not too much happening it's very mellow a few outdoor sections and it gradually gets more and more intense it's again i had nothing to compare it to but it's not a long maze. It's not a really short maze either. I'd say about maybe four minutes, I, I imagine. It gets to the end. By the middle of the maze, you're starting to get really, really jumpy. The last quarter of the maze is it's intense. And I mean intense. And I can say that now, as I've done all of them, I think it's the most intense, personally speaking. It's the strobe lighting in there. There's things popping out at you, there's things grabbing you, and it's very intense. You, you, you really want to get out at this point. Um, overall, I think it's a great maze, and for my first experience, it was fantastic. It really was good. So I'm going to give Project 42 an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 8.5. Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. Experienced was the Altonville Mine Tours, the legend of the skin snatchers. I'd say, as an overall experience, this was my favourite maze, and I still think it is. I think for intensity and scares, I, I prefer uh, Project 42 for the overall storyline, atmosphere, and general creepiness. I would give it to Altonville Mine Tours, to be perfectly honest. I'd heard it's not as intense or scary as the others, and I disagree. I think it's really creepy. I said to Big Perm, I think it's subjective to what you find scary, personally. 
for me all of this hillbilly inbred um you know people cutting your skin off and putting it on their face really creepy there's one moment it's based around the storyline of a bride who had never got loved by whoever she loved i, I think and it's their family so you can imagine you going around this house and they're all in there and yeah it's pretty creepy and um, the, the, there's great use of smell pods in there there's great use of effects and um, smoke quite a lot of smoke actually it's just a great experience and the uh, music as well the audio uh, the, the there's a song by Charlie Rich uh, the most beautiful girl in the world could you happen to be the most beautiful girl in the world that one might cut that anyway and, and that just adds to the creepiness as you're walking through the queue line. And I love the fact that you've got to go through the tunnel before you get in there. The whole build-up to Altonville, Altonville Mine Tours is the best, I think, by far. And, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9. A solid 9 out of 10. I love it. And I think that's the one I'd like to do, again, the most. So, Altonville Mine Tours, number 9. <laughs> a 9 out of 10. Maze number three is possibly the most disappointing of all, well, not possibly, it is the most disappointing of all of them. It's the welcoming. It's pretty poor, to be perfectly honest. It's I've done it in the daytime. It's set around the theme of the Wicker Man, so the Bjornan are all rejoicing in the joy of the wicker man and they're trying to get you on board but it's very samey you walk around the maze and they're all basically running up to you and going join us you must join us the wicker man calls for us oh it's just it's boring you know it, it's not scary at all it's it's mostly outside there's a great moment at the end which i won't spoil for you but Towards the end, there's a fantastic moment which, you know, it, it looks amazing and it would look fantastic in the dark. It's definitely a maze for the dark. If you're going to do any of them in the dark, make sure it's this one. Um, it, it themed really well inside, you know, it looks great. Great use of the space, the courtyard, um, where the, uh, the, the bar was and the outdoor area. I think it's all around that area there. Um, yeah, it's 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 decent. It's at best, it's a a scary family maze. I'd say um, I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten. <laughs> not so good. And last but not least is subspecies, which was really really good, really scary, but in a completely different way. And do you know what? That's kind of what I like about all of these mazes, is for me they're scary in different ways. Subspecies is scary on a sensory, lack of sensory fashion, if you like. It's 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 very disorientating. You can't really see where you're going. But for me, that you get you get split up a lot as well. Spoiler alert, you do get split up. So there's portion of the mazes where you are on your own or in smaller groups and you can't find your way there are many jump scares but because it's so dark I just didn't find it as scary as the other ones because for me the the, the fear of this one come from am I going to bang my head am I going to trip over something I was kind of just like where am I uh, uh, and then you get the odd jump scare but I'd rather be scared of the threat within the maze, i.e. the monsters, the zombies, the, the devils, the ghosts, whatever it be that's trying to, that is after you, as opposed to, am I going to hurt my head, am I going to fall over, because that kind of takes you at the moment, so there are some great elements in there again, some, you know, crawling sections and different levels, which I enjoy a great deal about subspecies, fantastic finale, um, but yeah, I can't help feeling slightly disappointed by subspecies because out of all of them, it's the one that constantly gets the most praise, is the most intense. But I just didn't feel it. I felt it had an amazing start where you go into the holding room and you're showing the videos and they're all like this on the, on the screen. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. And then there's this fantastic character that sort of holds the piece together, um, like an alien character, because it's all based around the alien takeover, I think. But again... 
I, I don't think that the stories are as clear as they could be storylines but is that because I'm just so scared I'm not really paying attention I don't know comment below let me know let me know your thoughts could the storylines be clearer possibly but yeah I love that character and the voice is very creepy it's like uh, I'm good I'm now I'm now stepping to the room but he's not from Bolton so I don't know why I've done that accent you know but uh, <laughs> It's great, it's a really good maze, but I can't help feeling slightly disappointed by it. If it was slightly No, do you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna critique it any further because it may that maze is great for what it is. It's great, it's a really good maze. And the others are slightly different. So I'm gonna give subspecies a, a score of eight because it's got many different vibes to it, many different, you know, uh, things that the other mazes don't have. But yeah. Subspecies, 8 out of 10. I didn't do the House of Monsters because that's more of a family attraction. I would have liked to have done it, but, you know, I had to prioritise the ones that I wanted to do. So, overall, my review of Alton Towers at Scarefest is pretty damn strong. It, I, I, I've, I've been twice now, so I've done each maze twice. Um, I just think it, it's a gorgeous park in the dark. It, it It's lit gorgeously beautifully there's there's blue lights uh lantern lights green lights as you're going over the hill from katanga canyon over to the forbidden valley it's just it's gorgeous the views looking out over the river towards the wicker man are just absolutely gorgeous the views of the the, the towers are little lovely uh, nice red there's some um skeleton projections on the towers or on the window so it looks like skeletons are trying to get out just nice touches in general um what else would i say i would say i wish there was a bit more interaction uh, you know scare actors in the in the park generally there wasn't a great deal going on um but visually it looks absolutely gorgeous i will say the Galactica Airways crew are brilliant really really good really really strong actors as well they're just so stylized everything they do there's one girl who's just brilliant and if you watch me vlog she's the first one i encounter and she just has this constant smile and she's just great but all of them are all three of them um so if you're in on towers go over and say hello because it's a good crack you do have a laugh with them um but yeah i would have liked a few more actors and the lack of the scare zone this year I was looking forward to the freak show, um, scare zone or a scare zone. It just adds something, you know. But apart from that, the audio was great, the lighting was great, and for my first experience of scare fest at Alton Towers, damn, those rides in the dark are phenomenal. I mean, even the the rides that you're not a massive fan of, like Galactica slash Air, it's just amazing in the dark. It's so much more intense. Nemesis is just. By far my best best coaster I've ever been on in the dark. It's phenomenal. The Wicker Man, brilliant, amazing. Looks for, looks just oh I'm excited thinking about it. Unfortunately the flames stopped working about five minutes before I got on it. But one of them. So, uh, I didn't do Oblivion. I didn't do the Smiler, and uh, I done Spinball Wizard. But I've got to go back again and do. The Smiler in the Dark and Oblivion in the Dark. And I'm probably going to do the mazes again as well because I really enjoy them. So I just want to say a big thank you for watching this small review video. Not too in-depth. Don't want to spoil too much for you. And basically I can't remember what happened because I was so scared on both occasions. So you know, <laughs> go and find out for yourself. You'll enjoy it. What's coming up on the channel next? I've got a trip to Farmageddon on Halloween, which will be cool with my friend Sarah. And also, what else have we got? Oh yeah, no it's gone. Oh yeah, Port Aventura baby. Port Aventura slash Ferrari land, you know what I'm saying? On this Sunday afternoon I go. Uh, guys, I'm ridiculously excited. I just can't wait, I'm, I'm like a big kid. So obviously there'll be a travel vlog and there'll be a couple of day vlogs from PA slash Ferrari land. So please do keep tuning in and I'm really pleased at how the channel's growing at the moment. I'm nearly at 100 now. I say nearly at 100, I'm on 81 subscribers. But you know, I give myself till Christmas. I said I'd be chuffed if that happened. 
three months I've been going, so it's, I'm, I'm made up, but I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you for watching, keep liking, keep commenting, which is the most important thing, I love when you comment, it just, I love replying to you, and when some of you say, you know, I seen you in the park, and I, I was going to come up, please do come and say hello, because I'm a nice guy, friendly, you know what I mean, and I'd love to meet you and say thanks for watching in person, I'd like to buy you the drink, well, I'm not going to buy the drink, to be honest, but I'd love to say thanks, so please come over, <laughs> and then maybe you can buy me a drink, I don't drink, but I'll have a Coke, <laughs> anyway, I'm chatting poo, so I'm going to go, uh, lots of things coming up, take care of yourselves and each other, what was that from, comment below, what was that saying from, Take care of yourselves and each other. What was that from? Take care. See you next time.